Hello guys. Okay, so obviously today is Monday. Monday the let's see. Monday the 23rd and today I have clinical. I have clinical online which is going to be my first time doing this. I don't know what to expect. So, I'm going to bring you guys along. Well, not bring you guys along because it's literally going to be here in my living room but i'm gonna show you guys what the process is because um obviously i don't have to explain what's going on in the world you already know just like myself you are currently in quarantine i hope you guys are staying home i hope you guys are staying safe and if you are a nurse and if you are a medical professional thank you thank you so much for all your hard work and Everybody else, let's do our job and stay home. When I woke up this morning, I had fruit because I wasn't too hungry. Me and my husband have been having really late dinners, which is not good, but whatever, you know? So I'm gonna make some eggs right now. I don't know if I should have a milkshake with, not a milkshake, uh, like a smoothie with it or coffee. That is the question. I also wanted to insert some clips because uh, obviously this morning I got a workout in. I did a little bit of workout. I wasn't able to record much just because I didn't want my camera to die and I wanted to film this. But I, I did a little bit of recording and it was kind of hard because my dogs kept jumping on me and it's kind of hard to work out with dogs especially the little one he just th he thinks i'm playing every time i'm doing something so that and i also got to clean all my makeup brushes which it was much needed so i'm gonna insert a few clips of that okay so this is what you're gonna need i usually use this dish soap to clean my brushes um i really like how it cleans all my brushes and doesn't ruin the bristles of the brush. So I put it in a paper plate like this and then I use this mat to brush all the makeup off and then I have a little towel over here where I, when I'm done cleaning my brushes, I just let it air dry like this. What I do, I let the water run really hot and then, let's say I'm washing this one, I grab a little bit of soap, a little bit of water and then I just brush it up here. nice and clean I like to air dry it up here you can actually find this mat on Amazon I'm not sure if I'll find the exact same one but honestly if you just put in makeup mat or makeup remover mat or anything like that you're gonna find it but I'll definitely put something similar down below. I doubt about us and I right back at the start. my turkey sausage and then I'm gonna crack two eggs in there and that's gonna be my breakfast So here is my breakfast, my iced coffee, eggs, sausage, turkey sausage, and some tomatoes with salt. I love tomatoes with salt. They're so good. And obviously some ketchup. I love my eggs with ketchup. So. Okay, so I'm done with breakfast. I'm sitting down in my dining table. How this clinical is going to work, we are actually going to Skype. Not Skype. It's called Web. What is it called? Webex. And so we are just going to Skype with 25 other students, including our professors. And the topic today is going to be coronavirus. So we actually did some pre-brief 
questions and they made us do a little bit of research but today the patients that they're gonna give us are coronavirus positive so it should be interesting I'm excited to learn a little more about this virus because I feel like everything we know is kind of like scattered and all the information from the internet is like it makes me so mad going and uh, going on the internet and seeing like it's just like the flu like I just just stop so I am excited to get educated on this because like I said, there's nothing really out there that you can believe. So time for everybody to log in. So we'll start about 12.30. Okay. I just noticed you just sent a link. So go ahead and put your name and D number in the chat section. Okay, so this is how it is. Everybody's right here. So there's a bunch of students right here and our professors. I have myself right now where people can't see me or hear me because obviously I don't want them to be like, what is she doing? But that's, I guess that's how it's gonna go. That's how, oh, let me set that up. That's how it's gonna go. Um, we're just going to be communicating through this, which it feels kind of weird. So I clinic was from 12.15 to 4.15. So it's four hours. Monday we actually didn't have clinicals we got our school got canceled last week today is the 23rd so last week our school got canceled our clinicals got canceled and they gave us so much homework to make up for the amount of time we were missing at our clinical site there's nothing like going to the hospital and being hands-on and actually learning from real life patients but I mean honestly I'd rather do this than all the work they give us i mean i just literally yes yesterday was sunday i finished all the clinical work they gave us it was so much paperwork it was just so crazy there will be breaks this is going to go till 4 30. we have a lot of material to cover but if you have questions either uh unmute or just type it in to the chat okay and we'll try to keep an eye on the chat any questions about how the afternoon's going to go no? Okay. been writing notes so what we're pretty much doing is they are giving us scenarios of a patient and they we read through the scenario and then they give us about four to five questions once we go through all the questions we go to a different scenario which is technically the same scenario they just keep adding information the scenarios get harder and harder and we just keep answering questions honestly a lot of the a lot of these questions are hard to answer just because it's it's so unknown like it's something that it's up in the air kind of like we know the information but we don't know the information so our professors are being really good at just answering all our questions and trying their best to explain every situation but yeah this is this is so different guys it really is different i cannot imagine how much other people are being affected by all of this i mean us nursing students i know a lot of our clinicals got cancel actually all of our clinicals got canceled my main concern at this moment is that my next session is mother and baby clinical and i really 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 wanted to experience that just because if i ever do decide to work at a hospital i would love to work with babies not necessarily pediatric but work with like women giving birth i'm going to be very devastated if i can't participate in an actual clinical for the maternal session so i really hope that things get better come here so the best part about doing clinicals at home is that i have my dogs here with me say hi hi everyone so I'm putting my headphones on because my husband is home from work to take a break so I don't want him to be like listening to all this boring stuff. It's currently 2.15 so there's two more hours left. because my head was hurting but 
I'm so freaking hungry, so I'm having another snack. We are actually not on break, but I have my microphone muted so they can't hear me. And we are just answering some questions, but I'm done answering them, so I'm gonna eat. I almost finished these because they're so addicting to eat. They're literally so freaking good. You know what's so annoying? So someone that is in our group, their alarm, their fire alarm keeps going off every like 30 seconds. So I've been hearing that for the last four hours. I seriously? Okay, let's go on this flight. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Guys, it's finally done. So it's 4.20 right now. Um, surprisingly, I feel a little tired. Like I know I didn't move at all. Nothing compared to being at a hospital walking around for 12 hours. But being sitting in front of the computer and just like, it kind of drains you, you know? But yeah, I feel that today's clinical was very different, but we have to adjust to the new normal, at least for now. Who knows when we are going to be allowed back in hospitals. And like I mentioned before, I really hope that for the next session, we are back to normal and back to our clinicals because I do not want to miss my maternal and baby clinical. But yeah, I am starving, so I'm going to make a smoothie. I'm gonna show you guys the type of smoothie I like to drink, one that I've been obsessed with. So what I do is I put a half a banana, and I usually freeze my bananas because they just make the smoothie a lot more creamier and just, I don't know, it tastes more like ice cream. So I add a banana, I add these frozen berries, Then I like to add this chunky mango and it's also frozen. This is what gives the smoothie the best flavor. So this is the secret to the smoothie, this coconut milk. So it's super thick and this is what gives the, the smoothie like a lot of flavor. So a lot of you may not like it, but if you are a fan of coconut, then you are actually going to enjoy this. So I like to add about this much some almond milk. I'm actually going to add more mangoes because I love mangoes. That's good. So here it is. I love this. You can actually eat this with a spoon because it's so thick and like creamy or with a straw, whatever is your preference. I'm going to try and edit this video today. Today's, like I said, Monday the 23rd, and I'm gonna try and post this today because I know I've gotten a lot of messages asking how are my clinicals, if I'm still going into clinical, if I'm still going into school. So I feel like this might answer a few questions. I hope you guys are all adjusting well. I hope you guys are staying active. I know it's hard to like, do anything at the house depending on the space you have at home try to stay active run up and down the stairs do jumping jacks do push-ups just keep yourself moving because it can definitely get depressing to being home and not do anything stimulate your mind stimulate your body and just try try to make the best out of it please let me know if you guys want to see anything else I was gonna record my tomorrow because I have lecture tomorrow and I was also going to record that, but I just think that it's pretty much the same thing as today. Just me sitting in front of a computer and taking notes. So I'm not going to do that, but I, I do have an exam next week. So I can make a video of how I study and things like that. But just let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. And, and yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.